uh, I think uh, the VAR is here for help, everyone, and uh, to help the referee on his decision. But uh, he needs to take the decision, so I don't know uh, what the, the referee think about that, uh, that moment. For me, it was a clearly, clearly foul. Uh, I think for the most of people I spoke with him, it was foul. But uh, I don't know about the, the, the referee, so it was his decision, and we need to respect this. And with regard to the title race back home, the fact that you trail City by a point now, what has that done to the mood and the spirit within the camp? Don't change nothing. Uh, we have our goals and we are fighting for it. Uh, uh, our goal is win the, the league and everything we are playing, the Champions League as well. So we are fighting. Uh, the spirit of this, this team, uh, it's... It's uh, a great thing. So we are focusing in, the, in this next, next game. is a, a challenge for us. I, I really don't think that any other coach in the world or manager in the world has to answer this question when you play Champions League. I really think that's, that's really unique. That only happens if you are the Liverpool manager and the, and the pundits come from Manchester United <laughs> and, and, and start these things. That's how it is. I only can say that if we play this competition, you, you, you ask us after the, when we went out in FA Cup, in the Carabao Cup, stuff like that, if it's better for us like this. We don't see it like this. We wanted to go through, but we didn't. And this time, we want to be focused on that game. And even if it would harm us, if we could not change it, the whole world watch this game tomorrow night. If we go in and play on, on one and a half legs or what, I, want, I wish that these the guys who's, who write you down this question, whatever, that they try to prove someday that it's possible to use their ideas in real life and not only in the studio. That would help. I'm not angry about it. It's just it's so mad that, we can't, that, we, that they constantly get confronted with it. And on the other hand side, it will build a momentum. Yes, if we play good football afterwards. This game has nothing to do with anything else. If we only stay in this competition and, 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 and we win it tomorrow night, if we deserve to go through, if we play good football, it could mean it could change the world for us. If not, and then we say on Thursday morning, so now, oh, it's over and now let's concentrate on Fulham. Of course, that's how it is. Nothing to do. It's only one game, a very important game, very, very important game, and more important games will come. So, uh, Sunday, Fulham, and then, I don't know, Tottenham, and then the next one. That's all we come. But tomorrow night, we only play one of them, and that's against Bayern. One more, Vinny. The point I was just making, though, was that in the past, we have seen cup competitions go in tandem with a really successful run in league. And, and so that's where the always, other argument falls down. Not always. Eh? It was not always like this. Sometimes, and not always. And that's how it is. Tomorrow, we play against Bayern. That's it. And then we play against Fulham a couple of days later.